Hi, it's Money Mum here, also known as Gemma Bird, and I'm here today to share five money tips with you guys. So my first tip would be, have a no spend day. Maybe that would be once a week or twice a week, a couple of times a month. What that does is it's brilliant for getting you into the mindset of not spending money and seeing that you don't need to buy everything to have a good time. Um, I think especially this year, it's taught us that, you know, things go up and down, we can be in a lot more and we need to find ways and ideas to entertain ourselves. So whether that's your mum, take your kids to the park that day, take the drinks, take the sandwiches with you, literally spend no money, use up everything you've got in those cupboards. If you're making, for example, a bolognese, if you've got the tomatoes, you've got the mints, you just need to buy the spaghetti. Literally try and cut back on everything for one day a week. So another money tip, a really great idea is to put away if you wanted to start and thinking about saving towards the end of the year, especially Christmas time is so expensive for all of us, you know. A great idea for that is to get yourself into a savings habit, a savings routine of putting away two pound a day. Now, if it's you and your partner, you could always put a pound a day in each. Then at the end of the year, you'd have 728 pounds towards Christmas. You can save 50p a day, a pound a day, two pound a day, five pounds a day. It's really just a guide to get you into the mindset of saving. Um, and it will really, really help you when you see that money mounting up. It's the small amounts that really do change the big amounts. Another tip I've got, whether you're a massive family, whether you live on your own, old or young, we all need to eat, right? Okay, so a really good tip is when you go into your local supermarket, have a look at what they're charging per gram or per sheet of toilet roll, for example. It may look like an amazing deal, but don't necessarily just walk to the ends of the aisle, see that and think, oh, I'll grab that. That's what they do. They put the deals at the end to grab them, but they might not always be the best deal. Go down the aisle into the toilet roll section, for example, and look and see how much you're paying per sheet. When you're buying things like your fruit, your veg, your tomatoes, your cucumbers, everything like that, buy as much as you can of it loose. It works out a lot cheaper. Things like a pack of bananas. I had five bananas in a pack um, and I weighed them and it was something like 23p I saved in the difference buying it in a packaging and out of the packaging. You're also saving plastic and helping the environment. You might think, well, it's only 23p, Jim. What's, what's that matter? Imagine that over every item, over every day, over every week, over every month, over the year. That is going to be a massive, massive saving. That saving could go towards your Christmas for that year, that £2 a day I spoke about earlier. Another great tip I always say to everybody is use your homes wisely. What do I mean by that? You can make money literally around your home. If you've got a driveway that's sitting there by a station, rent it out. If you're maybe living at home and you're on your own or you're a young couple with no children and you've got two spare bedrooms, why not rent them out to students? Look at things like that, your money, money that you can make literally in your home. Also selling things around your home, go into your loft, go into your garages. What is your trash is somebody else's treasure. Make sure you're constantly looking at selling things before you replace the new. So if you do need a new sofa, for example, sell the old sofa, then you've got money to put towards that new sofa, then it's not going to cost you as much. Also look on things like um, selling marketplaces because that might be a second-hand sofa to them. They might have sat in it two, three times and you could be exactly what you're looking for. And sometimes people give things away for free. They just want you to come and collect it. So especially if you're a young couple, it's such a great way of doing things. So another tip that I think is such an important one is to write down everything that you have to pay out for each month. I'm not talking about maybe jeans and a jumper that you fancy. Everything you must pay out for. So if you know you are going to use a full tank of petrol that month, that needs to go on your, it can be a pen and paper, it can be a spreadsheet, it can be anything that you use that you think's easy. Because until you see what you've got coming in and what you've got going out, you can't really work it out. And then at least you'll know, even if you write it all down and it's really, really scary and you look and you think, actually, I don't have I don't have anything left at the end of this, then at least you know and you can put a plan in place possibly to speak to somebody, get advice, get help. So always write things down, always see what's coming in and what's going out. Also, another great tip on that is if you're writing everything down that you're spending, it might be that you know, you've know you not looked at your mortgage rate for a while, maybe you could save money there, maybe you could cut back on uh, certain TV channels that you use, maybe you are overspending, maybe you can walk a bit more rather than using all the petrol. When you see it in black and white, it becomes a lot, lot clearer and a lot simpler to work out. I hope you found these tips really, really useful and you can find loads more tips and information on my audiobook, um, Save Yourself Happy. You can also follow me on Instagram, Money Mum Official.